the question today is on photoelectric effect and the question reads the minimum frequency of light that can cause photoelectric emission to occur from a metal surface is 6.94 times 10 power 14 has if the speed of the emitted electron is 8.0 times 10 power 5 meters per second and taking the Planck's constant as 6.63 times 10 power negative 34 joules second and the mass of an electron as 9.11 times 10 power negative 31 kilograms calculate the work function of the metal for Roman 1 then the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectron and finally the frequency of the source so right to the first part calculate the work function of the metal so work function is a minimum amount of energy required by an electron to be dislodged from the metal surface and that is given by w naught and therefore we're going to have the equation w naught is equal to h f naught where w naught is the work function and f naught is the minimum frequency required to dislodge an electron from a given surface so from the equation we are already given the minimum frequency of light that can cause photoelectric emission and we are given that as 6.94 times 10 power 14 has so that is f naught so f naught is equal to 6.94 times 10 power 14 has so from this w naught will therefore be calculated as so we have the Planck's constant h we already have it right here so we have 6.63 times 10 power negative 34 times f naught and f naught we already have a 6.94 times 10 power 14 has and calculating this we are going to get 4.6 zero one two two times ten power negative nineteen joules so for roman two the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectron so kinetic energy and for this case the maximum kinetic energy is given by the formula a half m v squared and remember it is the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectron so this m represents the mass of an electron so from the question we are given that v is so we have right up here 8 times 10 power 5 8 times 10 power 5 and the mass of an electron right up here 9.11 times 10 power negative 31 so mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 power negative 31 kilograms so substituting these in the equation so we'll have the maximum kinetic energy is given as a half times the mass 9.11 times 10 power negative 31 by the square of the velocity that is 8 times 10 power 5 squared so working out this we realize that the kinetic energy is 2.9152 times 10 power negative 19 joules Lastly, we are required to get the frequency of the source. So here we are going to use instance equation of photoelectric effect. That is HF is equal to the work function plus 
the maximum kinetic energy of an electron. So this implies that a photon striking an electron on a given metal surface is absorbed by the electron and some of the energy is used to dislodge the electron from the given metal surface and the rest of the energy is used as kinetic energy. So from the previous parts we have Roman 1 we had calculated the work function which is that and in Roman 2 we had the maximum kinetic energy which is this. So here we will have the Planck's constant and the frequency of the source. So we have 6.63 times 10 power negative 34 times frequency that should be equivalent to the work function which we've already worked out earlier on and we have it right here. So that is 4.6 0, 1, 2, 2 times 10 power negative 19 plus the maximum kinetic energy which is 2.9152 times 10 power negative 19. So to get the frequency we divide both sides by the Planck's constant so the frequency is 4.60122 times 10 power negative 19 plus this should give us 7.51642 times 10 power negative 19 and then we divide that by the Planck's constant so that we have the frequency and that is 6.63 times 10 power negative 34 and Upon dividing what we have is 1.134 times 10 power 15 has. So that is the frequency of the source. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.